unofficial vlogtober ending because I did not film anything from that weekend of the, like, the 29th, 30th, and 31st because I had a concert. <laughs> and we'll discuss that later, um, but it was very busy. I just, I couldn't do it, but it is October, no, it's November 3rd. Hello. And I thought I'd give you some house updates. Uh, right now it is chaos. So we are having our bedroom painted. We're finally getting rid of this awful blue paint. The ceiling has already been done yesterday. It looks gorgeous, um, but we are getting rid of this awful blue paint. So there is like, you know, plastic and stuff all over the place uh, and uh, stuff on the floor. But this will be done today. And uh, that's, that's the color up there. Look at that, so good, that paint is so good. And if you don't remember, this hallway, this space was that same blue, and now it is like an ice, minty, wonderful blue. This paint is called Headspace, this color is called Headspace. I'll turn the light off so you can see daylight, I guess. Well, kinda. <laughs> and um, I, it's the prettiest color, and this is just two coats no primer, so that paint is good. It's, it's from a brand called Claire. I will link down below. It is owned by a lovely lady that looks like me. Oh my gosh, the, the blurring, the blurring. But it is pretty dang good paint. So all the shelving is off the wall. Pantry is in the middle of the kitchen. It is chaos. We've had that there for days. So um, I gotta clean up the dishes too. Gotta make some coffee. Look at everything is out. It is crazy. Um, the shelving is over in that corner over there and there's the standards here. But look, we've got the drawers here hanging out. I had to go in here and get some garlic last night. And uh, there's the shelves that are there. I cleaned them all up and there are the the drawer uh, poles, not the drawer poles, but the u shape channels the channels and okay, okay. yes yeah, so those are the u-shaped channels and then over here we've got things from our bedroom that we had to move out in order to have our bedroom painted my husband is sleeping in my office because we didn't sleep in the bedroom last night so it is chaotic in here but happy vlogtober
that is back up and this is back up mostly. I'm just going to put the uh, top track covers in here and um, take these off because these are my own labels so I remember which uh, standard went where but everything looks like it's ready to be reloaded. This is going to be so satisfying. Hello, welcome back. It is now two, no, three o'clock. <laughs> and I went to Ikea and I'm back now because I ordered something to be delivered from Ikea and they didn't deliver it. So I went to go pick it up. It's about an hour drive from Austin. So it's in Stoughton. It says 45 minutes, but that's really an hour. So, um, cause traffic and all. So I am, um, that took a few hours, but it was fun. And the Christmas stuff at Ikea this year is so cute. Oh my gosh, I will maybe try to place another order for like to buy the Christmas stuff now that I've seen it. I don't know. Anyway, apparently the painters are done. They're gone. I don't hear any noise. And I put the paint away and apparently the room looks gorgeous. Um, my husband said the room is amazing. So I'm excited to get uh, my first glance at it with you. So let's see the new painted bedroom. A reminder of what it looked like. Very dark blue. Uh, just why I don't know why that color was chosen but uh, we chose the same paint company but a different paint color it's called dirty martini let's see what it looks like excited here we go what wow oh my goodness this paint color look at the ceiling compared the ceiling was also painted is stunning Gorgeous. <gasps> what a beautiful job they did. The paint color is so even and gorgeous. Wow. <gasps> and the trim was painted too. It looks so good. <gasps> wow. Oh. This room is so much brighter than it was before. There's our bed. We haven't made the bed, but um, yeah, we gotta put the, the nightstands back and everything. And the bone, they painted this little bump out too because it was all scuffed. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love with this color. Look at it. Okay, it is the next day and we've put a lot of our stuff back in the bedroom. I have to tell you this, it's like an entirely different space. It's so much lighter and brighter and happier in here. I am absolutely obsessed. So I have to put the curtains up. That's why I'm not pointing my camera towards that because I don't, you know, I don't want y'all come and stalk me or anything. But I'm going to put the curtains back up. So that is something I'm going to do right now. Plants look really happy there. They're like, oh my gosh, keep that window open all the time. But um, yeah, and I have a rug, a different rug to put under there too, because the one we had there was a shag rug and the Roomba could not come in because in case you don't know, in case you don't know, uh, shag rugs are not Roomba friendly. They will get stuck on them. So uh, do not ask your Roomba to vacuum a shag rug. It cannot do it. So uh, we're just gonna um, rehome that one and I got a new one from Ikea yesterday. I also got some stuff from Ikea. I got an Ivar cabinet and I bought some cabinet poles for it and so I'm gonna try like, to do a, a Warren Rabbit thing with some tape. We'll see how well that works. It doesn't, I'll just take it off. I don't know. But I also got some legs for it so it doesn't look like a, you know, just a cabinet on the floor. So that's to take the place of all of this nonsense. And I think that'll be hopefully its own separate video. I, I hope I don't screw it up, but uh, that's what that is. I'll probably work on that on Monday because I think I'm going to need some more cord control action because I hate looking at all of this stuff. 
I hate it. It's so ugly, like all the electronic stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Okay, the curtains are up. These curtain rods are super long and I'm just gonna get some shorter ones because they look kind of dumb, but they'll, they'll work for now is what we had. And the curtains are also too long. I'm gonna have to take this to a tailor to have this hemmed because I like these curtains. They're just way too, that's too much pooling for me. But anyway, we've got a new carpet, Ikea. This was like 75 bucks, so pretty affordable. And it looks really nice and neutral and like, you know, like no big deal. Just a little carpet for the bed, just to, you know, so it's not like super echoey in here and stuff. So I am super happy with the way that this bedroom has turned out. I'm gonna get some a different box for my nightstand so I don't have to look at the stuff inside because right now you can just see all the stuff, all the nighttime stuff inside and I'd like to hide that a little bit. So I'm gonna get a box that's the same material as that but just that has a top on it so I don't have to look at it all. But, um. I don't know, I, I'm happy with the way that this has turned out. I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, and let's talk about the fully completed pantry that is done. This is like a completely different space. Like, it's like, were we living here? I don't know, because this space is completely different. I may need to move the shelving to the left a little bit, but I'll do that some other time because it like barely clears the door. Kind of, I'll, I'll show you. Barely, <laughs> barely. Um, so I might move it just a little bit more, just to the left a little bit, but it looks so beautiful. And here is our new pantry. We've got the pasta here. We've got the peanut butter and the spreads and the honey here, also maple syrup and dried beans, canned tomato, I mean, okay. We have a problem. I buy a lot of canned tomatoes, okay? But we use a lot of canned tomatoes. I make salsa and I use these fire roasted canned tomatoes. They're so good. And then, um, you know, I just like, I like to cook. So I always have like things to cook, so. And then there are uh, baking stuff and almond milk. And now here we have all the beans, all the beans. We go through a lot of black beans. So I always like to have like four cans at least. We got pinto beans and garbanzo beans because homemade uh, hummus and all that. Here we just have sauces and extra olive oil, and down here we have more sauces and extra mayonnaise, and here more sauces and like soup and kind of random stuff, like there's some sliced beets and <laughs> coconut milk and like some great northern beans, which I actually have to eat soon. I think these are like getting close to their best by date, so I'm gonna make something with those. Then down here we just have, you know, some random stuff. <laughs> but I am so pleased how much brighter and lighter it looks in here. Oh my gosh, it is like... Did we live here before? Like you couldn't even see light down there because that dark paint was eating up all the light, but wow, it looks amazing. And this morning we had a new faucet installed. I bought this faucet like a month ago, but we are not plumbers and we don't have the confidence to install it. So we installed this new faucet and it's cool because it has a cool feature where you can turn it on, then you can like, whoop. isn't that cool? That is so cool. So. When you're like cooking or something, you can, you know, if your hands are like covered in, you know, nasty stuff or whatever, you can just boop and it turns on. Isn't that cool? I love it. Anyway, it is matte black. We are changing all the hardware to matte black. I purchased some new poles from Amazon, but they did not fit. I have measured these so many times and it turns out they are not four inches. They are 3.75 inches apart. Uh, but I had like, Worked really hard to measure and be really careful, but I guess mistakes were made. So I have the re the ones I need to return <laughs> are like way over there and the new ones should be here on Monday. So we'll be doing that on Monday. So lots of house projects. So that's kind of the end of Vlogtober, I guess. 
I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching and just having a good time and being really chill. I really appreciate that. I had so much fun filming or posting almost every day in October. I did miss the last of the month and like I took a weekend off or whatever. I don't know. But um, those kinds of experiments are really fun. And if I do, you know, like 15 out of 30 or like 10 out of 30, that's still a win for me. So thank you so much for coming on in the journey and like hanging out. And um, I had a lot of fun. So a lot of really exciting things happened last weekend, actually. I wanted to say thank you. And I have so many more things to show to you in... November and December. I got a lot, I'm doing a lot of house projects as you can see like we had a plumber out today We had painters out the last three days. We've got a lot of stuff going on So we've been living here a year and haven't done anything to the house and now we're doing all the things to the house So I'm excited to show you guys all the projects I'm doing and I hope that uh, You are taking care of yourselves and having a good time and a good day and if you're not then I'll send you a big hug and things will be okay all right, um, I'm gonna go. If you're interested in the Clover update, I did take him to the vet on Monday, uh, which was Halloween. We did all the tests. Like, it was like the hefty vet bill that hit me. It was like a sticker shock, but like I wanted to do all the things, blood test, urinalysis, fecal test, all that stuff. And everything looks normal, except for he's not producing a lot of protein in his urine. Therefore, drinking a lot all the time, and it's like really dilute. So, um, but it doesn't look like diabetes or anything like that. So what happened is she wanted me to get a urine sample right as he woke up before he drank any water. He's still drinking a lot of water, like five cups a day. And um, I did that this morning and dropped it off at the vet's office. So um, he didn't really understand why I was collecting his urine, but um, <laughs> the, it, it got done and hopefully it will have test results next week. I'm hoping that it's nothing serious and that it can be resolved. It's I am concerned because I am his fur mama and I, he is my fur child and I love him very dearly. So, um, but that's the update if you are wondering about Clover. So, um, he's fine. <laughs> he still is, you know, playing the ball and, and going for walks and being a menace. So he just is a thirsty menace and we don't know why. <laughs> all right, I'm really gonna go. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.